Here we have the Chinai Companion Amplifier Psychedelic Machine. Now it's a bit dark here and there's a very good reason for that. This is the vibrato tremolo phaser circuit. Normally the cadmium sulfide cells are inside this little metal house and the little metal house is uh, sort of shiny enough to reflect the light so at the moment we've got this on slow speed and as we turn that up highest you can see quite clearly that the light is is fading in and out and so that's the slowest speed next fastest next fastest next fastest and that's that's the maximum rate Actually, interestingly, when you bounce it, balance it between two things on the rotary switch, it becomes very bright for a moment. Uh, now, what I'm going to do for you, uh, what I'm going to do is shine a light over here onto the affected area I'll put it on tremolo mode and you can actually vary it with your hand if you put your hand down all the way you get that reflective effect off the off the skin so there's still something not a hundred percent right with this one but uh yeah i thought you'd enjoy uh, having a look inside there that's the the power supply i would describe as devil may care bordering on unsafe uh, let's get some more light in here there we go just let me make sure I've got a non-conductive pointing implement. Mains electricity goes in here to the fuse. Oh, that that's the the um, bezel. Uh, yeah, that's the bezel for the light. That's the fuse down there. That's the the power on and off switch. That's what it looks like at the front there. Power goes into the transformer. That is a full bridge rectifier, which is free floating in the air. Goes down to these smoothing capacitors here, which output the voltage. And the voltage runs uh, from over here, it goes in under there, it goes into this circuit board which is the vibrato tremolo phaser thing and it runs over here into the fuzz circuit board uh, which is the same as the fy6 fuzz so uh, the, f the, uh, the fuzz controls are listed as expander and volume What's listed as tone, it's not a tone control in that it's a switched capacitor. It's the two different modes of the fuzz. Um, and varying amounts of octave up. So for it to work in fuzz mode, you need uh, you need to have the, uh, the, the, the clipping up some and different modes there so now there's two there's two relays here the relays are only used for uh, let me 
me turn that down a bit. Um, the relays are directly wired into the uh, defeat or cancel modes, fuzz and mood. Um, that voltage, you short out the, the two connectors there. The little relays flick on and off according to the varied things. Uh, they are working fine. Uh, the uh, this part's working fine. You can see there's sort of a thin layer of dust on here. This thing is from 1968-69. It is very old. Um, so it's allowed to have some dust in it. Quite honestly, I'm really surprised there wasn't more dust caked on there. Uh, you can see just there the difference between the clean bit under the little hood and the rest of it. Um, I've seen insides of one of these, it was much, much dirtier. It had been in a, like a smoking studio or something like that. This, is, uh, this has barely been touched. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to try and clean that dirt off. There's no reason to. Um, I'm just going to pause this for a sec. Uh, just to show you, that is the reverse side of the circuit board. It's a very clean, simple layout. The cascaded phasing stages are, are along here. You can see there's the sort of the repeating pattern. There's the globe. There's your LEDs, uh, your uh, light dependent resistors. Um, there's not a real lot of markings on the board. In fact, there's, there's probably only one. It says V1. Uh, vibrato one version one i don't know um it is very unusual and i'm not entirely sure this is original uh it possibly isn't but someone some of the resri tone pedals uh most of the resri tone pedals have this header and the circuit board like this whereas other companion fuzz machines that i've seen on the inside of all the other ones i've seen inside of these wires go directly onto the circuit board. Um, but the holes in the base... Uh, uh, let me get that out of my face. That hole is exactly the same type of milling as the holes over there for the foot pedal... Uh, for the foot pedal, for the foot... Uh, where it screws into the chassis. So I think that that is... Uh, I, I I believe it's I believe it's original. Uh, the fingers are on, on one side. It was easy to clean. Um, I just I wiped over the fingers with some contact cleaner, uh, reseated it in and out a few times, and I ran a guitar pick along a thin guitar pick along the inside there, and some more dirt came off onto the guitar pick. So that's made it uh, more serviceable. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to be uh, selling this. I'm just going to crash test it, play guitar through it for another hour to make sure it uh, make sure it's all working. But uh, yeah, that that's the inside of it. Um, I don't think I've got to replace anything in the power supply cap, so I'm going to hook up the scope and look at to make sure they're not sagging too much. But uh, yeah, that's that's my long-winded video about the. Shinai Companion amp Amplifier Psychedelic Machine. So, thanks for watching. Um, no one's made a video on YouTube of the inside of one of these. So, even with my rambling, um, I hope someone finds it interesting and has a bit of a look at, enjoys looking at the inside of it. They may want to clone it. Um, I want to thank, actually... You know what? There's there's a guy I want to thank. Uh, I found this schematic of the phaser board from a guy called Kelvin Fleming. Thank you, Kelvin Fleming, Fleming for all your work of tracing out the board. I didn't end up needing the schematic, but his schematic has clearly got annotated on it 
which connectors the edge connectors are on nice diagram of the power supply so uh, yeah I want to thank uh, Kelvin Fleming for for that that really helped me to understand what the circuit was uh, to be able to do some probing all right I'll shout out thank you